In this video, we're going to talk about wheel bearings, in particular, Generation 1 wheel bearings. Until the 1960s, it was common for vehicles to have single row bearings arranged in pairs. Over time, they've evolved into compact wheel bearing units, starting with Gen 1 wheel bearings. Gen 1 bearings were a step up from the previous iterations, and you'll find them on many front wheel drive applications, both domestic and import. They're sealed and lubricated for life. Gen 1 bearings are a press fit application, meaning they require a hydraulic press for removal and installation. A Gen 1 bearing uses an interference fit to hold the bearing in the bore. Inserting or removing the bearing into the knuckle requires considerable force due to this tight tolerance. The biggest differences between Gen 1 and Gen 2 bearings is that Generation 2 bearings are factory set with the proper preload tension and they're formed with the hub already attached. Generation 3 bearings are sealed hub assemblies that integrate two flanges with one serving as the wheel hub and the other securing the bearing unit to the suspension. They're generally easier to install because they're bolted to the steering knuckle, which means they don't need to be pressed in. The primary signs of failure in a Gen 1 wheel bearing are noise and play. A bad Gen 1 bearing also can trigger an ABS code for wheel speed sensors because the encoder ring is embedded in the seal. When the bearing has been damaged and has play, the seal that also is an encoder ring can be damaged. The seal can be dislodged from its grooves in the inner and outer races. This can allow the grease to leak out and cause wear to the bearing. When the seal is damaged or dislodged, it changes the air gap between itself and the sensor, and it causes wheel speed sensor codes for erratic or loss of signal. Removing and installing Gen 1 wheel bearings is no easy task, and it certainly requires the correct tools and patience. With that in mind, make sure your customers have everything they need to do the job right the first time when you're recommending replacement Gen 1 bearings. With this wheel set from Scheffler, your customer can take a system approach to replacing Gen 1 bearings. The kit includes a premium replacement wheel bearing, flange, and seals. All parts in the wheel bearing kit are perfectly tuned to the application, making your customer's job easier. Scheffler's wheel bearing kits ensure that the wheel bearing sits securely in the steering knuckle and remains properly tensioned. And the parts run as true as possible, protecting them from unnecessary wear and premature failure. Depending on the application, Scheffler wheel bearing kits also might include a circlip, a rolling rivet collar, a low friction torque seal, or a spur gearing. And keep in mind that Scheffler is the world's second largest manufacturer of roller bearings and a trusted OE supplier for many automotive applications. So when you're recommending Scheffler wheel bearing sets, your customer is getting parts and accessories that meet or exceed OEM specifications from a manufacturer that has deep expertise in this arena. Plus, Scheffler offers industry-leading support with its Rep Expert brand, which provides training resources, technical information, practical tips, a service hotline, and the complete tech doc catalog with integrated repair instructions and maintenance information. These resources and functions also are available on the shop floor via the free Rep Expert mobile app. Thanks for watching.